Since the U.S. imposed sanctions in March, American refineries have stopped welcoming tanker ships laden with Russian oil. But Russian crude exports to other parts of the world have been increasing. The American sanctions aim to cut the hard currency revenues that feed the Russian economy and its war effort. 36% of Russian federal budget revenues came from oil and gas last year, according to Russia's finance ministry. But while the U.S., Canada, the U.K. and Australia have formal embargoes, most countries around the world don't, and oil refineries from India to Spain are still purchasing Russian crude. A drop off in Russian oil exports was minimal and has strongly rebounded in April, despite fears of supply shortages driving recent high oil prices, says Matt Smith, lead oil analyst at Kler, a data analytics firm. Russia has earned more than $12 billion from oil exports since its invasion of Ukraine, according to the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, an international research group. A month into the U.S. lead sanctions, the flow of Russian petroleum to the world, as well as the revenues from it, remains strong. Much of this oil trade is facilitated by a highly efficient and sometimes controversial group of middlemen, oil trading firms. Oil traders act as global matchmakers between the countries and companies that pump oil and the refineries that process crude into gasoline and other fuels. War merchants, says Sadahim, chief economist of Trafigura, a commodity trading firm that handles about 7 million barrels of oil and prod. In a sense, it's the oldest business in the world. Trafigura is one of a handful of companies in Switzerland that handles about a quarter of the world's oil each day. For decades, these firms have sourced much of their oil from Russia. About 80% of Russian commodities are traded in Switzerland, according to a 2021 report from the Swiss Embassy in Moscow. Some oil traders also have stakes in Russia's state oil company and its assets, including an Omega project in an environmentally fragile part of the Russian Arctic. In the weeks following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, many trading firms have said they are reviewing their holdings in Russia.